Ontario is a great place to work and live. At the Ministry of Transportation, we're working together with our partners to keep it that way by improving the infrastructure that connects every corner of our province. The Ontario Ministry of Transportation is continually finding new and innovative ways to make our highways safer. For example, we have opened a new runaway truck ramp and brake check area on Highway 11 in North Bay. This state-of-the-art emergency ramp will allow commercial vehicle operators to stop their vehicle effectively, reliably and safely if they experience brake failure while descending Tebow Hill. We know our commercial vehicle operators take pride in their work and the Ontario Ministry of Transportation is committed to providing a safe transportation network. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Highway 11 is a major Trans-Canada route through Northern Ontario. Millions of dollars of goods are transported on it each and every day. As Highway 11 South enters North Bay, a city of about 55,000 people, drivers encounter a steep descent down Thibault Hill. At the foot of Thibault Hill lies the busiest highway intersection in all of Northeastern Ontario. With approximately 30,000 vehicles and 300 pedestrians passing through here every day. Drivers also encounter additional intersections, traffic lights, and commercial development in the area. To enhance safety at this location, the Ministry of Transportation has built a brake check area on Highway 11, two kilometers north of Thibault Hill. And they have built a new runaway truck ramp where the highway descends the hill into North Bay. We strongly recommend that all drivers stop, use the facility, walk around their vehicle, check their brakes, check their cargo, and prepare their vehicle for the steep decline to the city of North Bay. Safe driving practices and a properly maintained vehicle are essential to ensuring a vehicle will stop. In the event of brake failure on Thibault Hill, only the runaway truck ramp can prevent a tragedy from happening. Several years ago, on May 28, 1986, a commercial truck loaded with sand descended Thibault Hill. The driver experienced mechanical brake failure. He was able to make it through the first two intersections, but lost control of his truck when he attempted to make a westbound turn onto Highway 17. Tragically, the driver was killed, and several other motorists were injured when his truck overturned, spilling its load at the intersection of Highways 11 and 17. As a result of that horrific collision, a coroner's inquest was held here in North Bay the following fall. One of the recommendations that came from that coroner's inquest was that the Ministry of Transportation explore the possibilities of putting some sort of truck escape facility on the highway. Shortly after the inquest, the Ministry of Transportation investigated several runaway truck ramp alternatives. Based on their success in other jurisdictions, a gravel bed system was selected as the best way to ensure runaway trucks had a safe place to stop if they experienced brake failure. The system was installed and became operational in 1994. Before the uh, installation of the dragnet system, we had a gravel truck arrestor bed. Uh, very different, uh, included um, a round uh, cobbled stone that was supposed to slow the vehicles, and, and which it did. Uh, unfortunately, it required trucks to enter the arrestor bed much earlier. Uh, probably even before they could figure out that their brakes were gone. The gravel arrestor bed system used the best available technology when it was installed in 1994. While it provided a safe way to stop a runaway truck, over time operational challenges emerged. As time passed, uh, problems were identified with the bed and they were related primarily to the location, to the entrance to the bed. The truckers felt that it was too far up the hill and additionally, the, uh, the bed froze in the wintertime. The ministry decided improvements were needed and a review of the latest technology was undertaken. McCormick Rankin Corporation was hired to complete an extensive investigation of possible alternatives suitable for Northern Ontario conditions. The dragnet system selected for Thibault Hill in North Bay is similar to those used in British Columbia and in several locations in the United States. Dragnet systems have successfully stopped runaway trucks 
and are not impacted by winter weather conditions. These facts provided the ministry with confidence that the dragnet system was the right choice for Highway 11 in North Bay. The new system was constructed in the fall of 2008. The dragnet system that's designed here is, uh, is designed to accommodate a, a, a fully loaded truck with the maximum load, and that's uh, 63,500 kilograms. And the entry speed for the truck uh, is 130 kilometers an hour. The dragnet system on Tebow Hill has a series of seven cable nets. If a fully loaded tractor trailer traveling at 130 kilometers per hour entered the runaway truck ramp, the dragnet system would bring the truck to a safe and complete stop in roughly 135 meters, taking around seven seconds. Under these conditions, a stopping force of approximately 0.6 Gs would be experienced. This is about the same force a driver would experience from a hard brake in a panic stop situation. With the new dragnet system, the Ministry of Transportation has been able to shorten the runaway truck ramp by 230 meters, providing drivers with additional decision-making time in the event of brake failure, additional time to steer their vehicle into the runaway truck ramp, additional time to protect their own lives and the lives of others. We're looking at uh, one of the energy absorption units here. It's basically a, a canister housing with 200 feet of uh, steel uh, tape inside of it. When the truck enters into the net, this tape is pulled out under force. Now this particular unit, and they're all the same, would take about 4,500 pounds of force to pull it out. So the, the attractiveness of the, of the dragnet system is, I think, lies a great part in its, its simplicity. And uh, as Jim explained, uh, we've got a steel tape inside a canister that gets pulled out through some offset pins. And it's really the uh, pulling it through those offset pins that deforms the metal and that's what absorbs the energy as the, uh, as the truck goes through. So there uh, are virtually no moving parts in, uh, in this system. Uh, that's why it, uh, it's pretty much uh, resistant to the climactic changes. It'll work in the summertime and in the wintertime, which was one of the objectives of uh, installing the dragnet at this location. The MTO ran a fully loaded tractor trailer weighing 60,000 kilograms into the dragnets at 90 kilometers per hour in a 60 kilometer per hour zone. The tractor trailer combination was loaded to 99% of its legal limit. The vehicle was leased from Lewis Motors, a truck dealership with more than 40 years of commercial vehicle experience. It's an international tractor powered by a Cummins engine, uh, 14 and 46 axles and a standard 18 speed transmission which is uh, typical of, of a lot of our fleet customers here in Northern Ontario and a typical load. Using a six axle configuration, the trailer was loaded with concrete blocks for the demonstration. We expect that it'll use the first four nets and uh, stop in between the fourth and the fifth net. By 10.30 a.m. on June 25th, 2009, Highway 11 at Thibault Hill in North Bay is cleared. People are gathering along the sides of the highway and anticipation is building. Preparations for this day have been ongoing for months. The Ministry of Transportation has only one chance to capture this demonstration on film, just one opportunity to showcase its success. Last minute checks are made with nothing being left to chance. There have been many staff who have contributed to this project over several years. These dedicated men and women have only one thing in mind, saving lives. Once you hit the incline of that hill, and once you start the decline of the hill, you basically have two options if you have no brakes. And one option is to use the dragnet system, where you will stop the vehicle, or the other option is to not use the dragnet system, which could uh, result in uh, injuries, perhaps deaths. The dragnet system has a total of seven nets. The demonstration truck stopped by using just four of them. Each canister contains a spool of 200 feet of metal tape. Not one of the canisters used a full spool. The truck stopped within 200 feet. The demonstration takes less than five seconds. The load is intact and the driver walks away without injury. 
by the time I got to the third one, it was starting to slow me down pretty darn quick. I didn't feel any pressure from the seat belt at all. The the only real impact that uh, that was hard was when it when it touched the wall, but um, nothing crazy. With the nets and metal tape pulled out of the canisters and the driver clear of the area, maintenance staff are able to assess the situation and begin the cleanup. The truck's impact with the wall caused fluids to escape. For the demonstration, a cleanup crew is on site. In an emergency situation, an underground containment unit is in place to assist MTO contractors with cleanup so the area can be cleared and the system reset. The spent tapes are removed and the canisters are reloaded with new ones. Once the debris is cleared of the area, uh, we'll only require uh, four nets to be installed. When that work starts, under four hours, we'll be operational. Uh, we had a very successful demonstration today. The, uh, uh, the truck entered the bed and it uh, stopped successfully uh, within the distance that we had predicted. Uh, the driver was uh, safe and sound. The, uh, the load didn't shift at all. And uh, I think, uh, generally speaking, the, we were very pleased with the results. And uh, the number of spectators there, I think, were impressed by the, uh, by the results as well. I would say don't hesitate to use it. This is this. I'm sure this will save lives. It's uh, as I said. I, I consider it a, uh, a very good demonstration and a success. By all accounts, the demonstration was a great success. Not only did the dragnet system bring the tractor trailer to a safe and complete stop, the driver walked away without injury. The dragnet system is a safe, reliable, and effective way to stop a runaway tractor trailer. It is hoped this demonstration will instill confidence with commercial vehicle drivers. Proper vehicle maintenance and use of the brake check area to inspect a vehicle's braking system before descending Debo Hill will significantly reduce the risk of brake failure and the need to use the runaway truck ramp. If you are a professional driver, you know the potential consequences of deciding not to use the runaway truck ramp if you experience brake failure. Are you willing to live with those consequences for the rest of your life? There is only one decision to make if your brakes fail on Tebow Hill in North Bay. That decision is to use the Highway 11 runaway truck ramp.